Hello, welcome to another segment of lab 4. So for today's lab, what we are going to do is I'm going to show you how to add two text field or sorry, two edit text and then we put two numbers in those edit text and then afterwards we will press a button and add these two numbers. Afterwards, we total it and display it on text view. So let's begin. So recall uh, that on the previous lab, we have created this application which uh, we can put in and edit text and we can type in the name over here. Then we can uh, click here display to display the name. Right? Uh, for example, like this. Okay. Right? Ahmad. And then we can click display hello Ahmad. So what we are going to do here is to proceed to create a two edit text and then we try to add uh, numbers from this two edit text. So let's delete the anchor first. Okay, over here, we click here and then delete the anchor. Then let's uh, add another edit text over here. Okay, we have it name and then edit text to right okay then clear here okay, click here clear so id you can put here id number one and two right okay, like here okay. id number one here we put here it number two okay just click refactor okay okay do not forget to anchor uh, the edit text so that it would display consistently across devices. Okay, we try as best as possible. Okay, here and then do not also forget to uh, ensure that this edit tag would extend the whole view. Okay, just like this. And then do not forget also to delete the name over here. Okay. Okay, and then when you click here, you just type uh, at the top. Uh, the search button here you just type hint okay so that you can put hint so you can put your number one and then here you type here number two <clears throat> right let's recap okay you have uh, both of this uh, uh, edit text number one and then number two uh, here you have 81 and 82 okay try okay i'm going to try and rename it so that it could be consistent so number one and then number two although it's not that consistent but uh, we try to do and make it consistent number two over here and then this one as number one okay. so we are going to put a display okay just rename this okay just click cross over here to rename the text calculate Okay, button calculate. It's just like this. You can change also the name of the ID, BPN calculate. Okay, and you create enter, type the refactor. So let's try and run this code. Okay, press run. Right, here is the number. But it hasn't complete yet. Okay, but now what we are going to do is uh, make it complete. Let's go to the main activity. You can see that uh, edit tag only has et name over here. So we can rename this as et number <coughs> number one and then et number two. Okay, it's not here. Okay, number two. Number one, number one, button display can rename this as a button calculate just to make it complete.
and make it easier to understand okay button complete okay The string you can put the number. Okay, perfect. So we are going to put this first. The string number one. Okay. The string. Okay, what is lacking is that uh, we have to convert number one and number two to uh, integer or to double. So to do that, okay, let's uh, try to type in double. Okay, num one, num two, and then try to convert. Okay, try to pass uh, the number. Right. Okay. Total. Try to pass the number over here. Okay, I'm going to do this as pedantic as possible as uh, so that uh, new new uh, novice student can learn okay novice student can learn uh, or at least study back uh, about their java you can do something like this okay, pass double double <coughs> pass double number one Okay, there are uh, other way uh, to do this shortcut so other shortcut way but i'm going to do this as uh, basic as possible as pedantic as possible because i want to help a uh, student to recall what they have learned about java on the previous semester okay like this one All right what happened next is that we want to display the result to display the result we have to use get text okay, set text okay also plus all right plus also okay, something like this Try to run this, okay. Run this application. Let's find one and three. Okay, total eight. Five point five. Is that nine? Okay. One point two five. And put here result six point. 75 so it is easy to create an application that can ca perform calculation so you can see here uh, how easy it is okay to create uh, this, this type of application okay however this application have uh, it witnesses first is it's not that user friendly so how is not a user friendly okay you can see here you can enter the user can enter still can enter uh, other characters beside number so when you press calculate the application will crash right okay it will crash so something uh, that you do not want to do okay it crash it crash uh, like this okay then uh, still enter but the button is not that friendly so what you need to do here is to limit the uh, type okay to limit the type of the edit text so how to limit the type of the edit text is uh, you have to change the type okay the input type so you go to this activity okay click on this um, widget okay uh, or the edit text widget and then you can go over here to look uh, for input type okay input type okay you go over here and see the is written as input type text okay, you can change this uh, into other type right you can click uh, click at the flag right and then you can change to number or number decimal okay like something like this 
the number number decimal okay same goes uh, over here also for number one you can change this to number number and then you click here number decimal right and then you can try and we run back the application So when you click over here, okay, you what you will see is the only number appear. Okay, only numbers appear. So this would make it easier for your user uh, to type in the number. Okay, okay, you are no longer allowed to type other uh, characters, right? To make it easier. Right, however, this is still have its own uh, weaknesses. So one of the weaknesses is that, key weaknesses is that, okay, is that uh, when you click a click, uh, the application will crash. Okay, we, when you click a click without entering any number. So in order to solve that, what you need to do is go to this main activity back and then do what we call as exception handling so if you remember the exception handling is a way for you to display uh, to enable uh, your application to continue running despite facing with error okay we have exception so where the exception occur usually uh, the exception occur at this area okay at this area so i will create a separate video about exception handling but uh, for today's lab, I'll try to integrate this with uh, this exception handling into this video. So you put here try, okay, and then you can put here catch, okay, catch, okay. Uh, you could put here number format exception and fe, okay, and put here, okay, and then you can put here toast, okay, to do. Um, uh, to display the error, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, input field. Please enter number in the input field. Okay, don't forget to type in show over here. Okay, and then again. Do not also forget to put here okay, uh, catch. Okay, uh, sorry. Okay, catch and then catch. Exception. Okay, this is a general exception. Add specific error. So and then try okay. The number is uh, error okay, because it is under try. Okay, try. So to solve that, we only have to go in inside here. Okay, we have to put uh, the number inside here. And then you put here about total zero. Okay, to solve the problem, we have to put. Uh, to separate the total so that the total would be uh, zero okay right total would be zero okay sorry I have to use uh, okay the small double okay total would be zero okay like this okay, and then you rerun back when you uh, press calculate okay okay there will be uh, an error over here and then your application no longer crash okay this one okay let's see that if you put no number over here like dot okay, or comma dot okay 
and then you say that please enter the number in the input field so your application no longer crash so what's next so next uh, I leave you another task is that you should be able to create another button over here okay to clear the calculation okay, you can add another button over here to clear the calculation uh, that is to clear the text field so can you do that okay add a button clear over here and then when the user click clear it will clear out the text field please do that as part of your own self-learning homework so be seeing you in the next lab session